Hello, I'm Jean Robinson, one of the ministry team at St John the Baptist Church, West Byfleet. And I'm here to bring thought and prayer for today on this Friday, the 1st of October. I've recently finished reading a novel entitled The Perfectly Imperfect Woman. In it, the main character, Marnie, who feels her life is falling apart, meets a wise old lady, Lillian, who opens her eyes to see that our imperfections and mistakes need not define us. And the difficult experiences in our lives can be used to make us stronger. Lillian shows Marnie her treasured collection of colourful pottery, all different shapes and sizes, but all with lines of gold crisscrossing over them. Lillian explains they had been broken and then repaired in the ancient Japanese art of Kintsugi. I have to confess I hadn't heard of this name before, but Kintsugi means joining with gold. It involves adorning broken ceramics with a lacquer mixed with powdered gold. So rather than trying to disguise the cracks or imperfections, it highlights them in gold. This made me think a little bit about what St Paul said when he wrote um, a letter to the early Christians in Corinth. And he talks about a treasure within Paul says that God has made his light shine in our hearts so we would see his glory through Jesus Christ. But he goes on to say, this is a treasure that we hold in jars of clay. Well, clay jars serving where vessels would have been very familiar. They were commonplace in Paul's time. And the thing about them is that they are, of course, very fragile and they easily break. And yet, it seems that God chooses such clay pots to hold this great treasure of his light and his love. Humanity has that breakable and fragile nature and yet has been entrusted with this valuable gift. None of us is perfect. Indeed, we may feel our lives are far from perfect and may wonder why God values us enough to entrust us with such a gift. But can we be perfectly imperfect for that task? Our mistakes, our failures, our difficult experiences through life can leave us with scars and cracks which we may prefer to keep well hidden away. But it is through these cracks that the light of God planted within that true treasure that we hold has the opportunity to shine out more brightly. Acknowledging our own cracks and scars and our own imperfections and offering them to God for restoration allows God's perfection to be revealed. The scars will remain, but now they can be embraced in a new way. Just as the lines of gold crisscrossing that Kensuke pots, giving them strength, new life and purpose, and indeed a new beauty. So the light of God can shine through the cracks and the scars of our lives revealing that treasure within. Let us pray. Lord, you have chosen to use weak and broken vessels to be your eyes, hands and feet in this world. You pass your glory through the ordinary, the fragile, the imperfect. May we be open to you and seek your strength and healing in all our weakness, so that the light of your glory may be revealed in and through our lives. <laughs>